just made it to downtown Nuremberg after like a 10 minute uh, train ride from the Flughafen or the airport. So we're gonna go and explore this city. I'd love to see my good buddy Florian, who I haven't seen in seven years. He actually studied abroad and stayed with us in the United States like probably like 13 or 14 years ago. So I'm just looking to see where he is. I don't know where he is though. You know that excitement you're getting before you like you see someone that you got caught in the There he is. <laughs> Hey, what's going on guys from Nuremberg, Germany. We're here for the weekend visiting my old foreign exchange student from 13 years ago, Florian. And we're really excited to show you this amazing German city. And we got very lucky because we're here at the end of October and it's sunny, nice light jacket weather. Uh, but first of all, if you're new here, my name is Mac and I'm currently traveling around the world with my girlfriend, Chelsea. Hi guys, so we are here, as Mike said, in Nuremberg, Germany with our fabulous hosts who live here and have lived here for several years, so they're experts, Marcella. Hi guys. <laughs> and Flo Doggy Dog. Hello, what's up? <laughs> so they are going to tell us a bit about Nuremberg. Yeah, I will just uh, mention like five reasons why you should visit this amazing city. So the number one reason is Everything is so close in Nuremberg, all the attractions, and you have perfect uh, public transportation to get there. Metro, you have buses, you have the trams, so you will be probably in the city center in like 10 minutes from everywhere in the city. And uh, yeah, in case you're, you're from a foreign country, you just fly in. We have an airport, a lot of people don't know. <laughs> and yeah, we have a huge main train station, so there are a lot of... Uh, regional and uh, yeah trains from other countries going to Nuremberg so uh, it's easy to get here so that would be the number one reason the second reason is Nuremberg is uh, rich in history so it's uh, you, if you know the history of Germany a little bit um, yeah the, the Nuremberg trials were were here so um, it was a center center piece of uh, of the second world war like a really important city for the for the Nazi party and uh, yeah there are a lot of remaining still I mean the actually the city was destroyed by like 80% but they rebuilt it and uh, but it still looks really old and you have uh, yeah a lot of museums uh, that shows like the history and, and what happened here and uh, yeah it's really interesting to dig in let me go on with the third reason um, Nuremberg is has such a variety of professional sports teams it's it's really cool to watch the the soccer team the, the their club <laughs> it's just an incredible atmosphere they have some really good fans and uh, yeah if you if you visit a game you will have your beer you will have your traditional food and you will have just a good time and then we have the Nuremberg Falcons which is like the basketball team nobody believed in this team but they still made it and they're still killing it so they're, they're winning their games and then we have a good uh, ice hockey team so American guys would love it I guess uh, it's not like the NHL standard but uh, yeah it's a German style ice hockey so you still get the, the fights <laughs> <laughs> yeah there's also a football team so I can I can move on forever but yeah let me just switch to the fourth reason why to hit this spot <laughs> <laughs> the fourth reason is to uh, is the Nuremberg cuisine so there's so incredible food here that is typical for Nuremberg so we got the Drei im Weckler which is like a bun with three breads and you usually eat it with mustard and uh, yeah it's really really delicious and you can eat it for breakfast you can eat it for lunch you can eat it eat it in the evening so whenever you want to it's like the Nuremberg version of the kebab right and uh, what else we got we got the ginger bread or ginger cookies Nuremberg is really famous for its Christmas market so they have all those uh, nice little Christmas treats you just need uh, to get a try and uh, the other the third main uh, dish is uh, Schäufele which is like uh, some sort of a uh, really massive meat and has a nice crust on it so it's crunchy and uh, 
and delicious at the same time. Fifth reason why to go to Nuremberg is the nice weather, right? Mm. <laughs> so we got the sunshine going on. Usually uh, we have warm, warm summers, we have a mild spring and uh, winter is not too bad. It doesn't get snowy that much. And as I told you, if it's cold outside, you got the Christmas market and the hot wine, so you will be all good. And uh, you got all the nice smell of gingerbread, of freshly baked stuff in the city. And yeah, you will have a good time even in winter, right? Those are the five reasons why you should come to Nuremberg. I would be so happy to be your host. Just come and visit me and I will tell you about the, about the secrets, about the records that Nuremberg has, <laughs> about everything Nuremberg has to offer that just locals know. And uh, yeah, just just be here, call me up and you can stay at my crib. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, check out Nuremberg. So guys, you heard it from Florian. We're about to go and show you more of this city here and some of the best things to do. And now you know from Flo Doggy Dog. We'll see you at the next spot. Alright guys, we're at our first spot here, which is the Pignitz River, and this place is picture perfect, literally. Anywhere you go, you're gonna find the best possible Instagram you could ever take, and each bridge, Flo's gonna tell us a couple examples here in just a second, has its own name, but you walk across each one, you get picturesque views, and once again though, we're just so lucky to be here in this beautiful sunny weather. As he, as he mentioned, each like uh, place or each bridge has their its own name, so this one's called Henkersteg. Uh, probably because uh, people got hung there <laughs> earlier, like a couple hundred years ago. And we are heading to this this one right there. It's uh, probably the, one of the most famous ones. It's called Kettenstieg. I don't know the exact translation. It should be like uh, chain chain bridge. It should be should make sense because if you look at the structure, it has like a chain structure. And yeah, we're right now in the old town, and there's so many things to explore, and we're gonna head up later to the main square that we're gonna spin the ring and we're gonna tell you what's up with the ring uh, later and then we're gonna head up to the castle to the famous Nuremberg castle all right guys so we are at the chain bridge that Florian was just talking about and as you can see it's just beautiful the views on either side are incredible it's such a cute quaint little German town such a great place to wander around we weren't even planning on really coming to this area and then we just kind of stumbled upon bridges and with the weather being so beautiful it's just definitely a place you have to come and walk around in Nuremberg. Alright guys, we are at Schönebrunn, which is this golden fountain and there is a ring on here actually that you come and spin three times and it brings you good luck. There is a tour side which is the gold ring and then there's a ring on the other side actually which is more for the, at least what I've heard, more for the uh, Nuremberg residents. And it looks more like a black ring but I think that's just because it's been spun so many times. So let's go get this good luck right here. Time to get some of the tourist good luck here first. Three full spins here. One, two, three. Almost three? <laughs> Probably three right there. I already feel luckier. Alright guys, my turn to get some luck. Beautiful found. One, two, three. Turns to the right. Already feeling luckier too. So that one was the tourist side and now we're going to go over to what's known as the local side. So let's see if we can get even more luck from that side. See it right up there? It's just hidden. Right up there. There he is. He's getting very lucky. <laughs> <laughs> that luck's coming in. Two. Three. Alright, so now I've spun both rings. So hopefully that means I have double the luck. And I will say I'm already feeling luckier. Das ist der best. Der beste Käsekuchen. 
<laughs> and alles Deutschland. Oh, ah, vielen Dank, vielen Dank. Wow. Schmeckt sehr lecker. Yeah, right now we are on the main square in Nuremberg and we just got a free trial of the world's best cheesecake. Woo. And we even bought a half a cake with the cherries. And at this place we have like a weekly market where you can buy flowers and spices and there are a lot of food trucks with shawarma and dried fruit and yeah, you can just have a good time, sit in the sun and enjoy. One of the best things about Nuremberg that I cannot capture for you guys on camera is the smell of these fresh baked pretzels, Wiener schnitzels and all the other delicious <laughs> German food that this place has. They literally want to lure you into every single shop to get something. It's so good. I can't wait to eat again. All right guys, we are right now at the Albrecht Dura Square. He's a really famous painter from Nuremberg. So if you look at the name of the airport, Albrecht Dürer Flughafen, the airport is actually named after him. Then what else? The square, obviously, and we have the Albrecht Dürer Hotel. So yeah, people usually go out here during the summer and sit down or during warm autumn days and have some good uh, German uh, Nuremberg red beer. And uh, yeah, what else do we got on the square? We got a re uh, like a hair statue. A bunny rabbit statue, I don't know how you call it, but uh, because the rabbit the rabbit is his most famous painting of Albrecht Dürer. And yeah, he was born in 1471, so it's quite a while ago. But um, yeah, he's still really famous and a lot of people connect him to Nuremberg as he was born here. And uh, so yeah, he's the guy, he's the Nuremberg guy. As you can see here, there's the Albrecht Dürer house, like a house. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, people just really having a good time here, eating, drinking, and just relaxing. All right, I got the light beer, the Nuremberg light beer, and this one's super delicious. But I'm gonna go ahead and give this red beer, which is famous, as Flo said, in Nuremberg. So let's see how good it tastes. Oh yeah, it's not, it doesn't look like what you'd expect, like a normal, like strong amber. You get more of like a, a Nuremberg taste. I can't even explain it. You gotta come here to try this one. Alright guys, so we are now at the Kaiserburg, Borg, which is the castle of Nuremberg. So it's at the top of the city, it overlooks the entire city. You can come up here and either, or both, tour the castle and or check out this incredible viewpoint. It looks like it's going to be an amazing sunset, so it's also a great spot. As you know we love to watch the sunset, definitely check this out. Like a restaurant of this top cook, he's like really popular in Germany. He's like his name is Alexander Hermann. He's always like in TV shows and uh, yeah, showing his skills. And he's a couple, he has a couple of restaurants, and he opened up this one like one year ago. And yeah, we already got our food. We got here like five minutes ago, and we said we are in time pressure, so they already prepared our food in a, in a minute. And we got here like a roasted uh, chicken uh, pizza, delicious with some spinach and some cream fresh and some uh, tomato. And here we got the salami pizza, which would be like the pepperoni pizza in, uh, in the United States, I guess. And then the, for the veggie girl, we got the veggie pizza with all kinds of vegetables, like uh, carrots and... Uh, Since when am I the veggie girl? What else? <laughs> yeah, and yeah, it looks really yummy, and now we get started, right? All right, let's feast. 
So guys, Chelsea and I are gonna be traveling all around the world for the next at least year, and we're gonna be making so many more travel videos with content like this for you guys. So hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you liked the video, and we'll see you in the next video.